Hello everyone. In this video, we are given a geometric figure where we have a square of side length 6 and inside this we have uh, two brown squares and two purple squares. So our goal is to find the area of the shaded region. That is, we have to find the area of the brown region and area of the purple region. So to find the area of these brown squares and purple squares, we have to know they are side lengths, isn't it? So our first aim should be to find the side lengths of these squares. So let us start with the brown square. Okay, let me take the side length of the brown square as x. So here we have taken the side length of this brown square as x. So this will be x and uh, this will be x. Now I want to find out this length over here the one which I am shading in green color okay so let me call this length as M and this length as M so both of them will be M because of symmetry so how can we find out M as you can see here if you add this M and this X and this M these three lengths it is nothing but equal to the side length of the square that is 6 right so we can see that M plus X plus M is equal to 6 so M plus M will be 2M 2m I will take the x to the other side so it will become 6 minus x and we will take the 2 to the other side so that we get the length of m as 6 minus x divided by 2. So this length over here is 6 minus x divided by 2. I want to find out the value of that x that is the side length of the brown square. So we have to take the help of a few triangles over here. So let me join the diagonal of this brown square so this is the diagonal here and uh, let me name some points so let me name this point as a and uh, this point as b this point as c and uh, this point as d so we have two triangles here triangle adc and triangle bdc and uh, we definitely know here that this angle is 90 degree and this angle also is 90 degree and here guess this angle that is angle acd see this diagonal will divide the angle 90 degree into two equal parts so because of that this will be 45 degree okay and we know that this angle also is 45 degree because of the same property so this angle is 90 this angle is 45 that is angle b is 45 so definitely this angle over here has to be a 45 degree angle okay, that is angle bcd will be 45 degree now i'm going to take the triangle a d c and triangle BDC okay I want to prove that these two triangles are congruent and it's very easy to prove now because as you can see here uh, we have this angle equal to this angle okay one of the uh, two of the angles are equal to 45 degree and two of the angles are equal to 90 degree in both the triangles and we also have this common side that is CD okay so CD is a common side so because of that using angle side angle criteria we can say that these two triangles are congruent that means they have the same shape and they have the same size so if these two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides will be equal right so from here I can say that AD is equal to DB this side AD is equal to DB so AD is X so x is equal to db which is 6 minus x upon 2 so using this equation we can easily solve for x so let's take 2 to the left side so that it will become 2 times x equal to 6 minus x and bring this minus x to the left side so that it will become 2x plus x equal to 6 and uh, this is equal to 3x 3x equal to 6 and x equal to 6 upon 3 which is equal to 2 now we know the side length of this brown colored square that is nothing but equal to two units right and we can easily find the area now let us come to the purple squares so think about it how you can find the area of the purple squares so now you have to think a little bit out of the box so give it a moment and try to think how we can find the side length of the purple square so let me draw the diagonal of this purple colored square so this is a diagonal of the purple colored square and this also is a diagonal of the purple colored square and you can easily observe now from the figure that if I call this as uh, okay I have already used the letter A right so let me call this as PQ you can observe that the length PQ is nothing but the side length of the square so we'll make use of this condition 
to find out the side length of the purple colored square okay let me call the purple colored square side as a okay so this is a and this will be a our goal is to find out the value of a so first let us find out the length of the diagonal of the purple colored square we know that this angle here is 90 degree right so we'll apply pythagoras theorem here and uh, we'll find out the diagonal okay so for convenience i will just call the diagonal as n okay i'm just using some random variable n so applying pythagoras theorem over there we get the value n square is equal to a square plus a square okay so n square is equal to 2 times a square so that we get n is equal to square root of 2 times a because square root of a square is nothing but a so the length of the diagonal is nothing but root 2 a okay so we can see from the diagram that if we take the length of pq here the length of pq is equal to 6 and we can also see that the length of pq is nothing but 2 times the diagonal of the purple colored square so it is 2 times the diagonal that is root 2 a is equal to 6 okay so from here we can get the value of a as 6 divided by 2 times root 2 and we can cancel out 6 by 2 so we get 3 by root 2 as the side length of the purple colored square so now we have got the side length of the purple square and the brown square we can easily find out the total shaded area now okay let's find out the total shaded area let me write the expression for that so total shaded area it is nothing but the area of the two brown colored square plus area of the two purple colored squares so it will be nothing but two times the brown square and plus two times the purple colored square okay so let's take the area now so this will be equal to two times so the side length of the brown color area is x so it will be x square right area of the square is side into side so that is side square so this will be x square plus area of the purple color square is a square because the side length was taken as a and we know that the value of x is 2 right so it will be 2 times 2 square plus 2 times a is 3 by root 2 so it will be 3 by root 2 the whole square let us simplify this expression and find out the total area now so here we have 2 times 4 plus 2 times 3 square is 9 root 2 square is 2 so we can just cancel out this 2 and 2 so finally we get 8 plus 9 which is equal to 17 so the area of the shaded region is nothing but 17 square units and this will be our final answer okay so that was an interesting problem right so i hope all of you enjoyed the problem for more such videos kindly subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next video